In this video, you will learn how to use Boolean operators in a database. Using Boolean operators makes your searches stronger and more effective, and they can be used in all databases and many search engines. Today, I will demonstrate using Boolean operators in the Academic Search Premier database. First, I search using a Boolean AND. Searching for teenager and mental health returns search results that include both of those terms. Here, I selected AND from the drop-down box next to the search bar. AND is the default Boolean operator in most databases. Using teenager and mental health, I have 13,392 search results. In my very first search result, I notice the word adolescence is used. I decide to connect teenager and adolescent using an OR operator since they are synonyms. Databases only search for exact words, so if you want your search results to include synonyms, you must tell the database to look for them specifically. I add adolescent to the same search bar as teenager using OR in all caps. Most databases offer two ways to indicate Boolean operators as to drop down menus next to the search bar or within a search bar using uppercase letters. My search is now teenager or adolescent and mental health. Using the OR operator to add a synonym broadened my search and so I now have more search results. 41,585. That's way too many search results to handle so I need to narrow my search. I am interested in teenagers or adolescents and mental health conditions other than depression, so I will exclude journal articles about depression from my search results using the NOT operator. By excluding depression using NOT, my search results are now 33,464, 8,000 fewer than my previous search. There are two more non-Boolean database operators. Exact phrase searching searches words as a phrase rather than as separate words. Use quotation marks to search for an exact phrase that is a single concept. By searching for mental health as a phrase, I narrow my search results to only articles that use mental health as a phrase rather than the words mental or health separately. Finally, I can use truncation to expand my search results for words that have multiple endings. Teenager and adolescent both have possible alternative endings. Teen, teens, teenager and teenagers, and adolescent and adolescents, respectively. So I will use an asterisk to truncate both of them. By using truncation, my search results have expanded to 35,028. Check out the Start Your Research tutorial on the library website and the Claremont College's library YouTube channel to learn more about the research process and library resources. And you can always contact the library with more questions via Ask Us.